What's up enthusiasts? Today I want to talk about loadouts. This is uh, a new configuration for me, something that I actually plan on doing a uh, standalone loadout video for in the future, but I wanted to actually talk about kind of the process behind putting a loadout together and why you may do it, why you may pick the things you want to pick for it. Because I think it's all too easy just to look at what other people running and just kind of go, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run that. And I'll just get all the same things that person has and I'll be good to go. And that may not be the case. So I wanna talk about why uh, I have this particular setup and walk through the idea of this setup with all of you. So to start, this setup is built around our 5v5 games. That is the focus for it. This is what I want to be running for the 5v5 games. So the, the focus is to be light. Light and mobile and compact and easy to, easy to move around and accomplish the things I want to accomplish without feeling bogged down or overweighted or anything like that. So I have a Condor battle belt for my base and there's a lot of different battle belt options you can go with. This one is, I believe, what we call it an outer uh, because it goes over whatever you're wearing. It doesn't go through your belt loops, um, but it does allow you to put a belt through and that is actually what buckles it. You see so you do need some kind of like duty belt or two inch belt or something to clip and buckle through. So I think I got just a Condor duty belt or something like that I think is what it's called. Um, and that'll that'll go ahead and hook together and hold around. This is just barely small enough for me. I am somewhat thin, uh, so I suppose I'm not like the thinnest person, but I, I'm I'm definitely thin. So be aware that check your check your measurements for things because uh, not everything will fit you. Things may be too big, and if something's too big, it's going to prevent you from being able to get that snug fit that you want in terms of a battle belt. Now, this does allow for uh, drop leg platforms as it has a hole that opens up on I believe each side that you can get through to hook things in for drop leg platforms but that's that's it it's fairly lightweight I, I, I there are some other options I want to explore but this has worked well enough for me and it's got molly paneling three separate molly paneling uh, panels here uh, you'll notice that the ones that are on the front have very little on them and that's not an accident um, I have one mag holder here, horizontal mag holder, and this actually will stay empty the majority of the time. This is not meant to be a primary mag holder. This is actually meant to uh, just be something for scavenging or quick reloading or something that I, I need the ability to put a magazine on my person very quickly. Maybe a teammate is tossing me something extra or a teammate needs me to grab something and bring it to them and I don't want to hold it in my hand. I have an extra magazine. I can just pop that in and say uh, we're late in the game and I want to have a, a magazine readily available I can pull out and pop right back in to you know load a couple darts if we're, if we're running low that's kind of the idea behind this particular narrow base mag holder on the front not to carry things and get in the way normally but a just in case type thing uh, and then also for the other paneling molly parts I've got like an admin pouch here which really isn't serving any purpose currently other than velcro space in the front and then velcro space here so i can just you know do things like put patches i want to rock um you know all over the place just because you guys know i like patches and uh, i like being able to represent things i like so let's go ahead and, and and switch over to the bulk of the loadout the important part now Everything here is on the back. The majority of my weight and bulk is on the back, the low back of my body. And that's important to me because it keeps everything out of my front and out of my arms kind of area of movement and blaster movement, all of that. It lets me move uh, with a free range of motion and not, you know, I, I can press up against something. It's a wall if I need to. I can get down on the ground if I really need to. Uh, things aren't obstructing or blocking me. And that is so important when it comes to trying to dodge darts, trying to move quickly and other things like that. So that is the foundation of this loadout. Now, you'll notice we have, if you, uh, if you saw this week's mail video, uh, this is a horizontal molly platform. Now, initially I had thought this was too big. I didn't like how, how much of a square this was and how much lower it would go. 
then I put my, my narrow base platform or molly mags on here and I realized I had a couple other rows of molly webbing here. So I thought, you know what, let me grab a condor, like EMT pouch I think is what this is called. And it, it opens up on both sides, which is actually fairly important for this because I am strictly thinking this is going to be something to carry a few extra darts on the field. So if I'm you know sitting on cover and there's some darts, I can have this open in a way that my hand can reach inside it and drop a couple darts, but those darts aren't going to just flop out necessarily, or I can quickly and easily just, you know, seal it back up. This allows me to kind of keep a few extra darts on my person without having a huge dump pouch, um, which I think is a nice thing to be able to kind of constantly be able to just grab a couple darts, put them in a pouch and have them later on when I would like to reload something, which is uh, fairly important to me because in our 5 5 games, there is a dart limit. So every dart counts. On the topic of a dump pouch, you'll notice there is no dump pouch. And uh, this is the first time I will be running with no dump pouch. And that's because I, I just don't want extra bulk. I just don't want extra bulk on me. Whether I'm running 12s or 15s, um, I am planning on either dropping the mags on the field and keep it going, or the mags will go back into the mag holders when they're spent. I'm not going to waste time with a dump pouch. Uh, 5v5s is all about every single second, every second counts. So I cannot and will not want to waste any time whatsoever when I'm on the field. So a dump pouch is just not in the cards for this loadout. Uh, these mags will just go on the ground, or if I have time, they will go back in the mag holders. And that's actually something I've been practicing is the no look, like a, a blind reload essentially, reaching behind my back, grabbing the mag, inserting, or pulling out the spent mag, inserting this uh, new one, taking the old one, and then without looking, being able to reinsert into the mag holder. Um, now you'll notice I have two different mag sizes here, and that is not uh, how I plan to be running. I just wanted to show that this can be run with either of these size magazines. Uh, the size magazines I run at the games will be dictated by our team composition. Um, I may not even fill up all of these mag holders. Uh, I may only have two or three extra or four extra mags on me. Um, it's all going to vary based on what our team composition looks like and what the dart distribution is dictated at that uh, particular event or particular game, which is why I've got you know both of these here to show that it can run the 15s, it can run the 12s. Um, I don't know that I would go any larger than this. 18s are a little bit longer and will stick out just a smidge, uh, which is not ideal. If we take this out, see it'll stick out just a smidge more. It's not, it's, it's noticeable. I mean, it's not it's not a huge amount, but it's it's just a little bit. And I every little bit of compact space, I have these set up so they come to like the edge of my body. So it's kind of in line with where I uh, sit, which makes things just easy and natural. And if you have something kind of flapping around the outside, um, it's not as nice feeling. So that's just my mindset on that. I'd rather run 16 darts out of a 15 mag than 18 darts. Uh, for that little extra comfort. But these are all just kind of things that you want to think about. This is my speed loadout, my lightweight speed loadout. Now, if you're running, you know, the mag dump roll on your team and you're, if you're playing in a similar game style, then maybe you want the front load uh, vest or rig or, or whatnot or belt loaded molly or uh, mag holders on your waist. So you can just quickly just grab, dump, or swap, dump, switch out, and just go. If you aren't meant to be that quick mobile kind of frontline person, then you may not need a super light loadout. You may be good to have all the extra accoutrement and, and good stuff that you wanna run and go over the top. This is just kind of my thought process behind putting these things together. And also, I wanna talk about these really quick these little uh like speed pole type things um i kind of love them i i got one just to test out from uh, from a company uh and i am in love with this 
So I ordered a bunch more and these are gonna go on all of my uh, worker mags that will be compatible with them. They just add this extra level of ease to grabbing things. Like you don't have to, you know, beer can it or, or pinch it or anything. It also allows, you know, if you have these stacked at the same, same height, it allows you something to grab onto to make it easier to differentiate between one mag and the other, which uh, to me in this set setup is super important. Um, there are some things that I am hoping will be designed in the near future that may replace these two narrow base Molly uh, mag holders with something else and may make this loadout even more lightweight and streamlined. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, how I choose to run and how I'm looking forward to running when it comes to our 5v5 games in the near future. Uh, let me know what you think of this kind of, this style of video where I talk about the reasoning behind each part of the loadout rather than the standard, you know, loadout videos that's, that's more thematic and more kind of embellished and just showing things rather than explaining them. Like I said though, I will still be doing a uh, more involved loadout video, standard kind of loadout video with some changes for this loadout in the future when the weather permits. But I wanted to talk about this and, and kind of try something a little bit different with Workbench Wednesday. So let me know what you thought. I am very curious to hear your opinions. How would you run a 5v5 loadout if, uh, you know, depending on your play style, I want to hear from all of you. I love talking about this kind of stuff. I could honestly probably make videos about just these kinds of things that lasted way too long but uh i love i love doing this i look forward to hearing from all of you and if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and as always thank you so much for watching i'm jangular and i'll see you next time